What's up, everybody? War here. Welcome back to this uh, to the channel. So the devs had a nice little hotfix today, or hotfix, a game update. All right, this is going to be coming out here pretty soon, but it is a game update to the Infernal Hordes mode, which I think is really, really cool. I've been thoroughly enjoying the Infernal Hordes this season. It has been an absolute blast to play the Infernal Hordes. Uh, the improvements that they made from the PTR are definitely 100% great. All big dubs there. Um, however, there's still a few, a few things that they can fix. So here is what they are bringing um, to the Infernal Horde mode. So the spoils of gold chest is now reusable. This is interesting because the gold, the spoils chest takes all your aethers. So I'm not really sure how it's reusable. I'm assuming that what they're going to do is just change it from instead of just opening it one time and it takes all your gold, you're going to open it and it's going to take X amount of your aether and you'll earn X gold from it. But we'll see what that is. Uh, the sound effects when picking up burning aether have been updated to be more prominent, which I guess is cool. The following infernal offerings have been updated to increase the rewards. So the burning aether amount has been increased from one to two. The surging elite, same thing, one to two. The unstoppable elite, same thing, one to two. And the burning rave, burning rave, burning rain, at the end of the wave, the burning aether has increased from one to three to three to nine. <clears throat> So for those who don't know or have been playing, these, these things right here, uh, these are the banes and boons that you select in between each round or each wave of the Infernal Horde. And these ones are pretty much like these two, nobody ever picks. This one, nobody ever picks. And the Burning Rain, depending on what your other choices are, people will pick. And I think people will pick it more now that there's a three to nine here as opposed to something else. But... These are getting some good changes to buff it even more, which I think is great because the strategy right now is just straight Hellborns. I'll have another video on that, guys, breaking all that stuff down So, or on the strategy for that. But it is cool that these are getting a nice little buff. <clears throat> the user interface and experience. Uh, trade chat is now separate by world tier, which I think is cool. Um, players will now be notified when there's a new patch. Party leaders can now promote another party to be a new leader. I think we could already, already do this. Newly created characters are now always placed on top of the character list. That's kind of cool, I guess. And clan name can now be changed. Awesome. And then there's a miscellaneous here where all players receive a cache of legendary items with guaranteed uh, greater affixes to make up for the issue we've seen in patch 1.5 where players were not getting items within guaranteed greater affix from multiple sources. So shout out to the devs here for uh, kind of like making up for all those times you were doing the Infernal Horde and opening the the GA chest and not getting one. Um, it, it it sucks that it's just one cash um, because, you know, there's probably, you probably did the Infernal Hordes multiple times and not getting it, but at least you're getting something back, I guess. And then the Alchemist Control Tempering Affix for Rogue has been re-enabled with the following adjustments. So here we go. The Flurry Size Affix has been removed from Rogue Innovation and put into Alchemist Control. And then the Ranks of Trick Attacks has been uh, removed from Alchemist Control. And then the extra visuals have been added. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of update here. Some nice little buffs on the Infernal Horde. I just wanted to make a quick video, guys, to update you on everything that's going on in Diablo. I will make sure to try to make these videos as quick, as painless as possible and keep you guys up to date for those who don't know. Um, overall, I think this is good. I think there's some good changes here. We need better boons and veins. Um, and I don't, I don't know if like increasing these rewards are necessarily the way to make people choose depending on the strategy that they're going for, which should be nothing but Hellborns. But, um, I, I think they need to fix how the RNG works for these. I'm not sure how to do that, but, uh, yeah, overall, I think this is good. This is cool. Quality of life changes and then getting a makeup for not getting GA items, which is really cool. So like the video guys, let's get this over 50 likes. Let me know down in the comments, what you guys think about all these, um, updates coming to the Infernal Horde mode, because this thing is here to stay. And I think Infernal Hordes has been the most fun out of any end game activity that I've done to date playing this game for over a year now. So, uh, really loving the Infernal Hordes. So yeah, guys, let me know, subscribe if you're new and as always stay gaming. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.